Hi, I'm Dave with Guernsey Technical Services, and I'm going to show you how to resume using your Nuco Thermal Coffee Brewer uh, after it's been dormant while you've been away from the office. Um, if it was unplugged or switched off in the back, first thing, of course, is we're going to plug it back in, turn the power back on, uh, whichever you might have done. You want to place an empty server underneath the brew basket. You probably have ones that look like this. Um, this is a shorter machine, and this just happens to be the type of server it uses, but all of the Nuco machines are the same, the process is the same. Once you've plugged it back in, and it's had time to reheat, and the ready light comes on, we're just going to brew one cycle of water. No need to waste a coffee filter or a bag of coffee. Uh, again, we're just bringing fresh water into the machine to uh, restore its hot water tank and make sure it's at the proper level. Uh, you can also run a little hot water from the spigot, make sure that's still working fine. It certainly should be. And in fact, there's really no need to wait for the machine to come up to its full temperature. But as it does, uh, as it heats up, you're going to want an empty vessel underneath to catch roughly six to eight ounces of water that's going to drip out during the reheating process. That's normal. And we're just going to brew one cycle of water. And once it's done, throw the water away and you're ready to start making coffee again. And that's it.